Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're checking out this 1950 Ford. Uh, just a beautiful convertible that uh, was restored approximately 20 years ago, guys. So this uh, car lived the last 20 years in Havasu, Arizona. Yep. So it's just been driven and enjoyed and shown basically. Yeah. Really just a beautiful car. Um, it was sold at Barrett Jackson in 2013 okay. uh, for a price tag of 42 grand. And that's uh, what, eight years ago. I mean, that's yeah, big money. It is, that's a lot of money back in 2013. So that really just tells you guys the quality of this car. And it's still so, that quality oh, today, it, important to point out. It has not had many miles on it. Just, uh, just cruise just a little bit, a fantastic car. Um, we have some documentation. You want to go ahead and show that? We've got all kinds of documentation, so we won't go over all of it. Okay. Um, but we got all kinds of pictures um, from when I mean, he was driving it and enjoying it in the sunny area of Arizona. And then we also have photos of... This is back, I want to make a mention here. This was back in 2000, Run to the Sun in 2002. So in 2002, it's the same exact car, guys, except for he didn't have the white whites on there. Mm -hmm. Sure. I like the white ones better. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Um, Top 10 winner in 25th annual run of the sun. Yeah, it just tells you the quality of the car. And then there's photos of the restoration back here as well. Um, kind of when that Obviously was done. Motor training out, yeah. yeah. I can't wait to show you this car in person. What do you think of this car, Roger? Rogers. When I was a young kid, my brother had a 51 Ford red convertible. Really? Really. Very cool. Brings back a little memories then, huh? Yep. But it was a deep red. Deep red. What do you think of this one? Well, we could sell it to you. Do you want one? This one's for sale. I'd like one, but I don't. I could not afford one. I had that type of spinner on my Chevrolet that I used to drive as a kid. Really? Very cool. That's a sweet car. I mean, anyone's just gonna. What do you think? Anyone's gonna love this car. I mean, it's just fantastic. Someone's gonna like it with the top down. You think? Someone's really going to enjoy it. Was yours a, just a, a convertible or just a hard top? It was convertible. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look at this engine bay. Absolutely fantastic. I this one the other day. It sure brought back a lot of memories. Yeah, that's, you know what, Roger, and that's uh, why we sell these cars. I mean, people have memories of having it or their buddies had it. Um, you know, that's why the old car market is so strong today because everyone wanted one. Maybe they couldn't afford one, maybe, you know. Yeah, and now, I mean, they just keep getting better with time, really. Oh, geez, That's look at the cool. engine compartment. The, the, these cars never looked this good in 1951 under the hood, did they, Raj? I bet your 51 red convertible didn't look like this under the hood. No. Yeah, very, very nice. They did a beautiful job under the hood. That flathead's painted absolutely gorgeous. They even went ahead and went with the uh, all the Fram oil stickers on here, the correct stickers. Um, got a new Napa Legend battery. The wiring was done professionally. And just look at the quality of the, the inner fenders and stuff. And I'm going to start it up for you uh, because these flatheads just sound so nice. It's also got the electric fan, guys, which is both fans. So it's got the pusher fan as well. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's got the electric fan here, and it's got the regular fan too. The wiring looks great under the hood. Um, all new cap, um, wires, plugs are awesome on it. This car runs absolutely perfect. Don't even go ahead and shut the hood. Roger's joining us today for a walk around a little bit, and he was my high school teacher, weren't you, Raj? Yep. I was just an awesome student, I'm sure. I've heard stories, Raj. He wasn't the best, was he? <laughs> um, as far as our chrome bumper, guys, and the grill, it's completely restored back uh, 20 years ago, and it looks like it was done yesterday. Beautiful condition still. Um, it's got the little half moons here on the headlights, and there is just a few little pits on those moons. And as we look at the grill, guys, right up close, if you stand back just a, a foot or so, you don't see it, but right up close, you can see just a few little pits here also in that uh, top piece of the grill right here. I've been advertising for your place. Good. I've seen people uptown. I said, have you ever been down to Austin to look at the, the cars? Yeah. Um, as we talk about the hood gap here, it's absolutely perfect across the top of the hood, the back of the cowl. Whoever built this hot rod really knew what they were doing, Dalton. They did. Um, yeah, just a gorgeous. I love the body style of these 50s in the front. Yeah. I mean, this is, like I said, what is it? Done in 2002, so 
Not well, at happen, least but, it was done. Yeah. I mean, it might have been done longer than that. Yeah, so I mean, it's a 20 year old restoration. <laughs> and it doesn't look like it. I mean, we might find a few little chips on it, guys, and we'll point it out. But the bodywork is streamlined on the car. Uh, whoever gets this car is just going to be super thrilled with it. The hood all the way across here, guys, fits great. Um, we do have just a little tiny little chip right along the edge right there. But the bodywork and stuff is just fantastic. Also right here, right on the back edge, there is a little crack in the paint right here on the back side of the hood. Um, the windshield's fantastic. Uh, chrome around the windshield and the gaskets are all nice. Um, you can tell the quality of the restoration. Look at this, Dalton. So how many people do the quality of this? You know what I mean? They painted all this, repainted it nicely. I mean, all around the edges, it's got it, the, the um, spotlights here. They're not the dummies either, I don't think. They got the lights and stuff in them, so I don't know if they work or not, but um, really nice gap from top to bottom. <laughs> as far as Roger in our video, he, he kind of just, I guess, wanted to be in it. Yep. Didn't leave the car, so we fired him off to just include him right in it, I guess. All right, so as far as the bottom of the rocker panel, the lower part of the door, all that looks really good as well. And uh, the bottom of that door tucks in really nicely right here. Um, undercarriage is all really solid as well guys very very nice car does have the fender skirts and I love the look with the skirts actually I've never even had them off on this car it probably looked good both ways but it just looks so cool as a little low rider with the skirts as we look up and down the dry or passenger side it is absolutely flawlessly straight yeah, isn't it's it very straight car are these what they call like shoebox Fords? Yep, that's what they call shoebox. Just like Roger had one in 51, my dad loves the 4950, 51 Ford. They're the call, called the shoeboxes. Okay. Uh, back bumper again, we chromed 20 some years ago. Looks excellent. Nice little dual exhaust system on it. Blue dot tail lights. Um, and they call this a French tail light, Dalton. French tail light. They French those in. They got the little blue dots in there. Um, we have some paint touch ups right here. There's a big paint chip right here. It's all been touched up. As far as over top of the trunk lid, if you look really close in the paint, you can just see a, just a little shrinkage line right here. I mean, there's gonna be a few things for it to be 20 some years old. As far as our trunk goes, um, bottom of the trunk lid is all painted nice. It's got a spare to match with a beautifully painted rim. It just kinda, again, tells you about the quality of the build. It's got the jack and everything right there as well. Matte, inside uh, covering, and a power top dome. Yeah. So very important because these tops are kind of kind of heavy, but it uh, does have a factory power top in here. So there's your top motor. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Um, yep, I already pointed okay. out. If we go to the um, pictures, you're going to see about three pictures of the top. The top's this tan, just like this, and it looks great with the top up. Um, windows fit okay. We did the best we could to get the windows fit and the best we could, but it is a 1950 Ford. So but check out the interior. Now, I'm going to say this is either a leather or just a real soft Naga hide vinyl, um, but very, very nice. Again, uh, older, but not dated. You know what I mean? It was super clean and that color combination is fantastic. I mean, think of any vehicle that's 20 years old that's been done 20 years You'd ago. You'd think it'd be very dated. Yeah. I mean, my truck's five years old and it's not as nice as this. <laughs> Yeah, very, very, very nice. Um, the dash paint is just spectacular across the whole thing as well. As far as our, uh, let's check and see what we got here. We also have a manual choke on it. Heater fan works. As we go inside our glove box here, it does have the touch-up paint. Oh my God, look at that. I mean, here, another thing, look at the quality of the build, you guys. This should show you everything you want to see about the, kind of the car it is. Uh, 50 Ford Very passenger cool. car owner's manual. It's one thing I love about this car, it kind of tells the era, is it's got these, like the planes there on the door panel. I mean, this is 50, that's what, about five years after World War II ended. Sweet. And the, the window cranks, as far as our windows, they go up and down nice. The door panels are excellent, uh, door jam paint's nice. If you guys are just looking for a nice cruiser, I mean, what do we got this at? 40,000 bucks 40, in that ballpark somewhere in there. Yep. And you got all the sunshine you want and a beautiful shoebox for it. Oh, geez. 
And Roger gives it a thumbs up. Roger gives it a thumbs up. <laughs> if Roger had the money today, it wouldn't be on here for sale. I think I could have sold it to him. We'll get him back in here. All right, so Dalton's gonna try to work the deal a little bit later. I think he can shake, him, shake his pockets out. <laughs> All right, so one thing on this car that it really needs, just the, the, um, the door latch on the latch assembly, need, the striker needs to be adjusted in just a little bit. The door shuts fine. It, it just doesn't stay all the way tucked in there with that uh, uh, striker off a little bit. But uh, as far as the body work and, and fit and finish on everything on the driver's side, just as nice as the passenger side once that striker gets adjusted. I mean, and you can see yourself anywhere in this paint. I mean, the paint quality after 20 some years, Dalton. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> um, and I always, I always talk about this to anyone I'm talking to with classic cars. Um, being an older restoration, you might have some chips and nicks and things like that, but it's far more important to be an older restoration because you can see how it was done. Um, I mean, if there's bond, I mean, after 20 years, if they used excess oh, bond, after two it'll, months, it'll be yeah, yeah, after 20 years, guys. Yeah. Quality car. Any shoddy work after that time is kind of exactly. Expensive. We have a little paint chip right here. Again, there's touch-up paint inside, um, and just a little paint imperfection right here. Here's what I'm talking about. So, see the door will shut all the way in and shut nice and tight, and line up fine. It just wants to come out just a little bit. Just needs to be adjusted. Um, our gap is excellent. We have just a little scratch right here in the paint really nice gap here from top to bottom and we're not going to be taking this out on the roads because it's winter and we don't want to take this beautiful car out on the roads. no we're not going to uh, do that i need to drive tear down it drives nice i mean the clutch feels so good it shifts great um it's got power steering i don't think it does it you sure as hell feels like you thought it feels it like doesn't it. but it sure as hell it steers like. nice but these little tires are you know the the tires are nice and thin so it does it steers really easy guys so we can definitely park this car check the door jam out here the bottom of our door our inside hood latch here the carpet is like i said the interior is not dated at all i mean the carpet's really nice and it, yeah it's a good color um, great car guys check this out coyoteclassics.com horn works heater works um, damn horn works a little too well um, wipers guys they do work as well but they are vacuum so all right anyway check it out all right, so it's finally springtime here in Iowa. We're gonna do a little drive video in the 50 Ford. Uh, when we did the this video, it was uh, January, so we couldn't really get it out and, and take it down the road and tell you how it drives. But uh, just a really great car. And everyone that's heard this thing run is super impressed with how quiet and smooth that uh, flathead runs. Yeah, it is super quiet, Dalton, and it runs awesome. It's got a manual choke over here. Uh, it carries great oil pressure. Going down the road right now in first gear, we're running about 65 pounds of oil pressure is a ton gas gauge works uh, all battery gauge works on it inside the dash our turning indicators even work i mean this car is just a fantastic little shoebox convertible yeah it is shifts beautiful too yeah. i am very power, glad we didn't man. drive How it when it was the power? negative it's 40 mile an hour right there shifts beautiful Smooth. into third the speedometer works great the tires I mean, this thing is a smooth running car. Yeah, it is. And I, like I said, I'm glad we didn't take it out and drive it in January. That would have been a cold ass ride. Yeah, I would have. Um, this car was spent most of its life in uh, Lake Havasu, Arizona. And the restoration on this thing, and we do have pictures and stuff like that, was just done just pristine at the time. It was probably 20 year old restoration, but just look at the quality still on the dash. I mean, all of it. Yeah, it is very nice. If we look down here, we have an awesome brake pedal, guys. It stops right up here. So it doesn't go down too far, nothing like that. It stops nice and straight. Not quite sure as far as on our uh, fan and stuff, but that's all there. Here's our blower motor. Yeah, blower motor works again. Blower motor works perfect. And the wipers work, guys. Dash lights work, come right on. I mean, this, is, this car's ready to go. Um, and this car, guys, is priced at $37,995, which I think is a heck of a deal on a a beautiful restored 1950 shoe box convertible. Yeah, exactly. I mean, go find another one for this price. You can't.
Um, also, the horn works, guys. I'm not gonna hit it right now because it's a little touchy. We need to adjust it a little bit. So, uh, but the horn works as well. So everything works on this thing, guys, except for the original radio, which it's a miracle that it's in this good a shape as far as- And the, the dials turn, you know, yeah. so. And the clock, so great shape. And even the dash paint's beautiful. Oh, See, there's, there's that the horn just a skosh touchy. We got the it. Mystery, uh, the mystery hole. He thought I was talking <laughs> to him. <laughs> See, that's kind of fun. Maybe we'll just leave it. Oh, <laughs> but uh, no, even like if you look underneath with the, you know, they, the way they covered up the oh, kind of cowl, I guess. Yeah, it's like, super professional. <laughs> Everyone thinks we're all gonna <laughs> that, that, that one intentional. was intentional. But yeah, we do need to adjust the horn, but it'd be good for parades. It would be great for parades. You wouldn't really it'd save your fingers a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> the kids would be waving and yeah. it'd be perfect for parades. Yeah. The guy's out throwing candy, Hell yeah. honking, kids are running into the street. <laughs> you don't all even, the deal. You don't have to you can wave with both hands and still honk. Exactly. <laughs> um, great driving car guys though. We gotta get this little horn issue figured out, but uh, that's a simple one. Um, the alternator gauge is working. The only thing that looks like it's not working right now, guys, is the temperature gauge and the clock and radio. So, fantastic car. I want to get it up to speed quick. <laughs> we should have just unplugged it. We should have unplugged it. If we would have. day for a convertible ride too. It really is. Um, as we're going down the road guys we're doing uh, 55 right now approaching 60 and it's windy um, going right into the wind and this thing 60 mile an hour it goes down the road awesome nice and straight. Yeah. Suspension everything feels really good it's not a rattle trap at all. Exactly. It Very does have smooth a power car. top. Um, the top is new as well. Newer I guess. There's receipts on a lot of this stuff too guys. We might, have, we might cover the same things we covered in the previous video, but um, I said we want to get out and drive it. So, again, give this car a second look. I mean, it's ready to go back to the warm weather and put the top down and cruise. So give us a call. Check out the website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, appreciate it, guys.